Okay, here's Adobe Premiere Pro 2018. Let's talk about these three aspects. First, let's add transition between multiple clips on the timeline. Okay, so let's use the first tool, selection tool, and select the clips between which you want to add the transitions. Okay, and go here to sequence and apply default transitions to selection or just press Shift D on the keyboard. Shift D. Okay, first it's complaining about insufficient media. We will take care about that later. Just ignore it, close it. Okay, and we have the transition on the video track and the audio track in multiple places. Okay, that's the first one. Now let's change the duration of these audio video transitions. So currently the width is let's say one centimeter or something like that. Let's undo it with Ctrl Z. It disappeared. Now let's modify it. The length from Edit, Preferences and Timeline. Edit Preferences Timeline. 30 frames is going to be used for the video. Let's modify that to 90. And 1 second transition. Let's modify that to 3 seconds transition for the audio. OK. Now let's select it, let's say there, Shift D on the keyboard, the same insufficient media, OK. And now we have a longer transition between the clips, both on the audio and video tracks. OK, so that was the second one. And why is center at cut grayed out? That's a good question. So if I click on the video transition, Center at cut is available. And that's fine. Click on the audio transition. Here comes the problem. Center at cut is unavailable. It's grayed out. And the transition itself is not between the clips, but it's on one clip only. Now why is that? And how to fix it? <laughs> so in case of the video, since nothing is overlapping, the program took the first frame of the second clip and it positioned it here and it repeated it at this length and it faded it in. So that's fine for the video track, you can repeat a still image and fade it, it that looks nice. But what to do with the audio? You cannot take a portion of the audio and repeat it in this portion because repeated audio sounds ugly. So in order to position this one in the center also, let's just use the second tool, track select forward, disable snap also to use it more easily, and simply drag the second clip on top of the first clip and create an overlapping. There in the middle it will be overlapping. Okay, it's not visible, it even cut it off. Okay, but we can use the first tool and select that area, press Shift D on the keyboard to insert that transition, and the transition is added and it's exactly the length of that overlapping. So if we click on it on the video track, we can and we must manually do it, center at cut and it's in the middle and we can now do it with the audio also, center at cut that's because that portion is overlapping and there is sufficient media to overlap those two clips, the first one and the second one and thus we got rid of that insufficient media warning also. So all you have to do is use the next tool overlap it a little bit, select that area, shift D and position it in the center, both of them. That's it, thanks for watching and bye bye. We just took care of these three things.